Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, This Rise of Rise. So today's video is very homey, it's very calm, it's very different from my usual upbeat fitness, you know, Halloween videos because this video is special. It's actually not planned at all. I just had this urge or like inspiration to do something, a video. Um, as I say goodbye to my 20s and now I'm entering my 30s. So if you guys don't know, November is my birth month and I'm entering a new milestone in my life. Basically, I just really want to do a video where I get to look back on how my 20s has shaped me and has led me to where I am today. Um, a few months back when I started my YouTube channel, I think it was in January or February of this year, um, a lot of my friends have been asking me I should do a day in my life kind of video because they wanted to know what it's like to be a full-time employee, um, a master's student, yes I'm taking my master's, um, I'm also managing my social media, of course there's Instagram and YouTube like partnership work and all that. And the other side of it, I also have my personal life, so I'm a single mom, I'm a daughter, I'm a friend, amongst other things. And so a lot of you wanted me to share how I balance at least those four major roles in my life. And I did shoot videos, I did. Um, I have tons of footages of that a day in my life video, but I never got to edit it. And I don't know, maybe it's because it wasn't the right time. And I feel that today, where I am right now, I feel like sharing. <laughs> um, it's not like the day in my life video that you guys suggested, but I will be sharing with you um, those four roles and looking back as to how they shaped my 20s. I have four major hats that I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day life and one of them is I'm a mom to a six-year-old. So in my 20s, early 20s, I had the opportunity to be a mom and parenthood is such a game changer. I don't actually know the exact words to describe it, but it changes you. And so early in my 20s, I wasn't prepared <laughs> to be a mom, but it happened and I decided I'm gonna take on the role, I'm gonna embrace it, and I haven't looked back ever since, I think. Um, there are times that I would compare myself to what would it be like if I'm still single right now but looking at my daughter's face and how she would hug me and how she would tell me she loves me unconditionally oh I don't want to cry I wouldn't have it any other way um, I always tell my daughter that I'm the lucky one to be her mom and you know there's no manual to parenthood and I wish there was but that's also the beauty of it you get to grow as a person you get to grow in this new role and you get to shape another person's life which is for me I take that responsibility very very seriously because we're shaping the new future generations <laughs> so yeah uh, that's me. That was one of the pivotal moments in my life in my 20s. Another hat that I chuckle and also happened in my 20s is that I entered the workforce and I have been working in organizational development and learning strategic work for almost eight years now. So I did graduate college in my 20s and I guess I'm one of those lucky ones that fell in love with the career they entered. And I say lucky ones because it's not the same for everybody. Sometimes you have to go through different phases for you to know what is really your passion, what is your calling, and sometimes it comes in different phases in our lives. 
so no pressure with that that's why i say i'm a lucky one i'm also very grateful that in my eight years in my career all of my bosses and i mean all um they're such good mentors and they're such good coaches and they are beautiful people that have honed me that have trusted me with various projects that led me to where i am today um if they didn't give me the projects on succession planning on kpis i wouldn't be able to do learning design and org work and that is part of my work that i enjoy a lot i enjoy talking to people interacting with people and i enjoy you know unlocking people empowering them to be their best version whether it be in their work whether it be in their personal life i just love that and that carries over to my personal value of lifelong learning which is why i don't think i will ever get tired of learning organizational design and learning design so i'm just really fortunate that i found my calling and passion when i entered the workforce but no pressure on you if that is you know an ongoing journey it's an ongoing process for you um there are multiple times in my career which i cried handling projects but at the end of the day i love what i do oh my gosh <laughs> my career has been very colorful it has been very colorful in a way that fresh from you know college and my first job was okay we're going to assign you to be called 24 7 you're there and i was stationed in be i had to be independent i had to you know matutu mag budget um, because I'm paying for my rent, I'm paying for my food, and I also have to have savings. Well, I've been assigned to Tagig, to Bicol, to QC, I've been with ABS-CBN, I have been very vocal with my stay with ABS-CBN, and how I envisioned myself staying there for years, but then the franchise happened, and that, that in itself is such it's it toned me to who i am today how i see things how i process things and you know um with work i develop my work ethics um i know work is important but at the end of the day you're dealing with humans and so it's very important to be human-centered um in whatever you do so the third hat that i'm wearing I'm still wearing which happened in my 20s was my master's I'm a master's student and you know back then in college I thought that I'll I'll just enter work I don't know one to two years and then I'll go back to you know pursuing my master's and back then I had a very clear image in my mind that I will be pursuing my master's abroad in Europe uh, taking digital psychology but that didn't happen. It took me six years, <laughs> six or five years before um, I pursued my master's again. And it's not abroad, but it's also in my alma mater, UP Diliman, and I'm taking social psychology. Taking master's while doing full-time work and all these other things that I have in my life, it's definitely a challenge, I would say. Don't get me wrong, I love psychology, psychology is my first love, and I will forever ever be a geek in trying to understand the ABCs of human, humanity, like humans. But oh my god, the readings, like statistics work, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't enjoy it. But it's part of the journey, you know, understanding data. I love interacting with my classmates, with my professors, having all these questions. I'm such a geek when it comes to learning and lifelong learning and psychology. So with things that I'm really passionate about, I have tons of questions. And I think that's what I love about masters is because you get to interact with different kinds of people from different, with different, you know, work backgrounds, different work experience, and it enhances you. And I think that's beautiful. 
like social learning very unstructured very fluid yet very rich being enrolled in masters also means that you have to manage your time and i think i'm going to talk about this more in my next video because taking masters when the pandemic happened that took quite a lot um from me and recently i just realized that it affected me more than i thought it would i segue ko na to my other video na it was also in my 20s that i got diagnosed with depression and anxiety i realized i needed help there was a point in my life that it was very very dark and i realized i don't want to stay in that dark place and i needed help this mental health topic is very dear to my heart because it's something that is a huge part of me it's something that i want people to normalize talking about having this platform youtube and instagram i believe or i want to have uh, i want my platform to be empowering for anyone who is experiencing mental health problems so i'm going to be dedicating a separate video talking about my mental health um, how i started my journey and where i am right now i guess that video will be out after this video um, another thing that happened in my 20s was having a platform a social media platform so i did start my youtube journey late last year I think it's December 28, 2020. YouTube has been very important for me. It's my creative baby. Um, it helped me get through a very challenging time for me when one of my relationship was failing. And YouTube has been my outlet for me. I have always been a creative person. And so making content, sharing a little bit about my life, through YouTube, my passion for fitness, my um, my passion for Halloween, and all these things, um, it's been my saving grace. And it's also my way of coping up with the pandemic, you know. That has been my way of reaching out to people. And it has opened so many doors for me, both YouTube and Instagram, because I only started this year growing my Instagram for real. And right now, I think we're in the 5,000 followers on Instagram. I am so grateful for that. Um, it has opened so many opportunities for me in terms of partnership, empowering women. I have been able to partner with her period company, which is very close to my heart because it's sustainable period solutions for women. It empowers women and it's a community that gives back a portion of their sales to taking care of Mother Earth. So. You know, these things are very dear to me. Also, fitness partnership with Perry at Leisure, um, partnerships with Profit, um, and other causes. And also, my social media, like being featured in ABS CBN, winning the CNN Women, Women video last March 2021. I actually love it, kind of major stressful at times because you know you have to manage your time properly, shooting, editing, and scheduling all these things. It's work, but like with anything, if you really love what you're doing, you're gonna make time for it. You're gonna see it through, and I just love the experience and everything that came with it both the tears, both the nerves. Like, kaya ko pa ba to? Sobrang hindi ko na kaya mag-shoot. May MA pa ako, may work pa ako. nag ot ako, pero I need to shoot because I need to out a video on Monday. And then I hit my weekly uploads last October. I'm really happy. And I get to be able to have a voice. And I get to share parts of my life with you like a virtual memory, <laughs> a video memory box where I get to look back and see how far I've come, what are the memories that came along with these different videos. Um, like some of my videos, I clearly remember, oh, this is a phase in my life where I thought I was gonna give up. Or like, oh, the Pamela Rafe video. That was when I was so into fitness and I was working out five to six times a week. 
it just when I look back on them I just see how far I've come as a person and I'm very proud of me for that <laughs> and how far I've come like building this community we're almost at 500 followers right now and it wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you thank you so much and then there's so many other things that happened in my 20s there was an instance where I treated my entire family um, a, with a trip to Baguio and th that was so memorable for me because I was able to give back to my parents in that way. Um, looking back at my 20s, it's such like parang, parang merong mental scrapbook that I flip through it and I see faces of people that have been so pivotal in my life like my barcada in work my barcada in high school that has been carried over until my 20s i'm still very close to them even my elementary friends and they have been a huge part of my life and my daughter's life i see them thriving and i'm very grateful i appreciate that i get to see them thrive and not just that i think the pandemic hit us really bad like the pandemic <laughs> is also a big part of my 20s and some of my friends went through really tough times and to be able to share that vulnerable moment with them i'm grateful for their trust and i'm grateful to hone these relationships with people you know i get to lead vaccine groups i get to change people's lives i get to work on projects outside the work that I'm very passionate about, non-profit um, projects like Kilos for a Cause that's just powered by friendship and the goodness of people. And if you told me this when I was 19 years old that, hey Riza, you're going to do so much, you're going to affect so many people's lives, I'd be like, what? <laughs> How? I mean, why? But it happened and the and the events that would lead up to these milestones happening it seemed magical like it wasn't deliberate some of them were kind of deliberate like saying yes to this job and that job leading to certain opportunities and projects but the unfolding of it all it's so magical and i think that's the beauty of life i mean Wherever you are in life right now, whether in your teens, your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, wherever you are in your life right now, life is so beautiful when you allow it to unfold. If you trust, let it transform you and let opportunities come and just welcome it with a grateful heart. It's amazing. It's really magical. And I don't know where I will be tomorrow or like a few years from now. I honestly, I have this idea in my mind. I can be quite stubborn with my goals. Actually, that's one of the things that I, that I learned in my 20s. Be stubborn with your goals, but be flexible with how you get there. You know, just clear focus on where you want to be but be flexible on the little things that will take you there. I think that's me. That's my four roles um, that you guys wanted to talk about. And those four roles um, shape me to where I am today. Like even with the hiccups, even with the tears at certain points in my life, like me crying <laughs> about a job that I didn't get at first or like, a project that was way past the deadline and it was stressing me out or me like saying I can't do my masters anymore all these things or like me trying to rack my brains am I raising my daughter right where's the freaking manual to parenthood but you know I'm enjoying life I am learning to be kind to myself I'm learning to slow down and more about my mental health on my next video if you guys want me if you guys want to watch that 
yeah, I'm just really grateful that I'm saying goodbye to my 20s and I'm welcoming a new chapter in my life. Oh, on social media, Pula, by the way, I have this rule as someone who's in social media. Take social media with a grain of salt. Not everything is posted in social media. I would be the first to tell you I do use filters. <laughs> There's curated pieces of things that I post in social media. I don't post everything in social media. I think that's my number one rule that I learned in my 20s about social media. Don't post everything on social media. It doesn't, your life is so much more than social media. So go out there, live your life. Social media is just an added layer or a bonus on the digital transformation that we're experiencing right now. It's not your life. So there. I guess I'll see you guys on my next video, which will be a premiere about my journey to mental health. Book.